Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today we are back on the Hermitcraft server. It is another one of those little mini episodes, and of course, we are starting things off by arguably the best place on the server. This is the RV that we built in the previous episode of Hermitcraft, and I have to admit, you guys seem to really, really enjoy that episode. Now, I, I also feel like I enjoyed recording the episode. You may have been able to tell that I was having a whale of a time building this thing. And I am looking forward to be recording this one because I've got to tell you, I have pretty much had my head stuck to my desk for the past four hours. I have been doing maths, I've been doing physics, I've been doing ICT, and I've had enough. I've had enough of doing it. So I am back to recording another episode. But a few of your comments said something along the lines of, if I were you, I wouldn't be playing games, I would be doing revision. And you know what? I sort of understand. I understand where you're coming from. So what I thought I would do is I thought I would kill two birds with one stone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head inside our little brewing station here, or our little RV. What am I talking about, brewing station? And I'm going to do a little bit of revision whilst making a Minecraft video, okay? So this has probably never been done before because it's so categorically boring. Right, so I've got three questions and I want you to answer them. They range from beginner to hard, okay? So... We've got the equation x squared plus 8x plus 15. I want you to factorise it. Question 1. Question 2. Find dy by dx of e to the power 4x. And question 3 is we've got the equation x cubed y plus cos pi y equals 7. And I want you to find the gradient of the curve where y equals 1. So there we go. Have a little bit of fun. Do a little bit of math while watching this video and plonk down your answers in the comment section. I would love to hear them because I'm quite a boring old sod and I like making other people do maths, okay? So yeah, get to work on that one and we will crack on with the rest of this episode. Now I do apologise for the rain, but I don't know if you remember this, around about 2-3 minutes ago I referred to our RV as a brewing station, which was such an odd thing to do. I don't understand why I did it. I guess it just came to my brain and then it just flopped out of my mouth because when you're doing these videos, I don't know if any of you have ever tried to record a video. Sometimes you say some odd things, all right? I always get pulled up on it in the comment section. Trust me, if you try and record a video, you do say some odd stuff. So anyway, while I was recording and while I was watching it back, it gave me a brainwave. Why don't I add a few brewing stands inside the RV? So let's take a look inside, and I think what I will do, if I can actually get through the door, is I will put a brewing stand over in this corner over here, and I'll put a brewing stand on the other side, like here. I suppose that looks about right, but also I think what we need is we need a few of these water bottles, and there we go. Look at that. That looks absolutely perfect. So we get that on the other side as well. We have got ourselves... A Breaking Bad RV. That is a laboratory, alright? That definitely looks like a laboratory. Got a nice little bit of detail on the inside of the RV. And I think that looks really, really good. And one thing that's just come to my mind while we're talking about the details. I actually changed up the tail lights on this thing. I don't know if you remember, but it was originally red hardened clay. And instead of that, we have now gone for redstone blocks. And that looks so much better. Oh yeah, that is perfect. So those brake lights, they are absolutely dead on. We have got ourselves some brewing stands on the inside that you can actually see through the windows and the door. So it's not particularly secure. You know, if the DEA were to roll about around here and they saw this, then perhaps they might stop by. But other than that, it looks really, really cool. And I'm happy to see that the RV, it is coming along nicely. We haven't got any diamonds yet, but that that's, that's not important, is it? That's not important. Now, I would say that this is probably the most annoying hole on the Hermitcraft server. It has infuriated people for probably about the past 30, 40 episodes. I don't know how long it's been here, but I know for a fact that it has been frustrating people. So what I thought is that in today's episode on Hermitcraft, we are finally, finally going to be getting rid of this thing. Now, there are a few problems. You're going to be able to see pistons from down in this room here, but honestly... We don't really use that room that much, so it's not really that much of a problem. Whereas from up here, the fact that it's off-centered really is quite annoying. It's begun to annoy me. So what I thought we would do is we're going to build a hidden trapdoor, which are always fun to build. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly clear out all of the area that we need to build this thing, and then I will get to work on it. I will take you through it. We'll do the redstone together, and I'm sure it will all be good fun. 
Now, what I have managed to do is I have cleared out a very big and pretty ugly hole in the middle of my base here, but for this to be a flush 2x2 trapdoor, we actually need to do quite a bit of redstone work, and as you can see, we aren't working in a particularly redstone-free environment. What I mean by that is that we've got plenty of stuff going on around the area that we really have to be careful of, because I don't want to mess anything else up. So, what we need to do is we've got ourselves a few pistons like this, and we need another couple pistons like that, and then these ones here, they are going to be our floor blocks. I'm just going to chuck these in for the minute, and then on the other side, I guess we should probably do the same thing. And it's going to be quite tough to do, so these are the middle blocks, so that means we're going to go one, two, and then the sticky pistons, that they are going to be on the back of these blocks here. And of course, of course it is aligned incorrectly. I mean, seriously, survival redstone, there is nothing more stressful than this. So we've got that on that side, and that means that we need this one on this other side as well. And then these two sticky pistons facing upwards, and we'll have these two blocks on top. Now the issue is that we have not got a lot of space out around the back of these pistons. And this is generally where you put all of the wiring. So I think I'm going to have to come up with a solution to this one. Perhaps we need to power all of this from the sides. In fact, that makes a lot more sense. So I'm going to try and work this out in my brain before I start recording. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty awful. Okay, so a lot of you like to work redstone neatly, okay? I like to work redstone neatly. In my creative world, everything has got color allocation, everything's multicolored, I know exactly what's going on. Here, on the other hand, it's a little bit more haphazard, it's a bit all over the place, but I'm going to try and explain to you what's going on. So, what we have is we have got the inputs for both sides. So, if we just quickly chuck down all of the redstone for this side here, so we run that into a block, then these blocks here, they will power these sticky pistons when they are fully extended. So they will be extended outwards, and then these blocks will go upwards. And that is because these turn on, then these ones turn on. Now we just need to connect this up using redstone, and that will be that one done. So this will be this side done almost, and oh no, 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 no. We shouldn't have a problem there. I hope we don't have... A problem there, otherwise that'll be really, really annoying. I don't know, I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. So then we just need to run a repeater into that. Set that one to three ticks, and we should see that when we power all of this, don't actually have any levers, we only have redstone torches, is that these will extend upwards, so now they are flush with the floor level, and oh no, oh no. Ah, <sighs> I have built it off-centered. It's exactly where it used to be. Which wasn't, wasn't the aim of the game. This is why I don't do survival redstone. Oh man. I think I've managed to solve the problems. There is a well known saying, which is that if you fail to repair, you prepare to fail. Now that generally is said for things like exams, but it definitely, it definitely applies for working on Minecraft projects. So now, let us try and work on the other side. This one looks like it's going to be a little bit less stress-free. I mean, the other side, it's got all that other stuff. And as you can see, I've had to do some fan-dangled redstone here, running it through another circuit. So hopefully, if all has gone to plan, this doesn't start up some kind of redstone clock when that garbage can is running. In fact, I should probably test it out with something that I don't want, for example, dirt. Let's see, is it going to run through there? No, that is absolutely perfect. So there we go, that is totally allowed. Right, okay, so what we need to do is just run this redstone round. We need to run the repeaters into both of these blocks. We've got three ticks there. We have got a tick there. We need two more ticks here, and we will run that straight into a block so that it doesn't power any of the hoppers. And that hopper's actually running in the wrong direction, so we'll quickly fix that up. But that should actually be us done in terms of the trapdoor itself. So all we need to do is we need to connect both of these redstone lines up and we can't do it over there because obviously that will run into problems, I guess you could say, with the pistons. So we need to do it round the back and we will just run a redstone line out round here. If I quickly grab that. Our inputs will be over here somewhere, I guess. We could put it on one of these posts. I don't know yet. I haven't thought that far ahead. All I want to do is make sure that this is a functioning redstone circuit. So, let us take a look. We will take out 
one of these blocks out the back and we will replace it with a redstone torch so here we go yes we have got the extension and have we got the retraction yes we do okay so we have got ourselves a fully functional flush trap door Oh, that took about 50 times longer than it should have done. But now all I have to do is I've got to hook up an input. I guess we should put it over here. So, yeah, I'll put an input over there. And then we need to cover up all of the floor. And that will be us done. After about four, five months of having that really ugly hole in the middle there. Look how much of an improvement that is made to the look of the base. That looks so much better. And also our little lever is hidden off down here. So we flick this lever here and you can see that our little door opens up. Now, unfortunately, well, I'm yet to actually go down to the bottom. I don't really know if I want to, but let's give it a shot anyway. Let's look up at the ceiling. Hey, that's not actually that bad. That doesn't look too bad. I was expecting much worse than that. There's a few of the blocks missing. I guess I'll have to do those in the future. Some of those half slabs there are gone. They probably despawned as well, which is a little bit of shame. And also, for some reason, some of these half slabs are missing. But other than that, that looks absolutely fine. There's no problem. I'm alright with seeing those pistons, and you should probably be alright with it as well. But anyway, if I can stop messing about in that block there and close up our little piston door, wow! That has made such a massive improvement, and although it is a fairly small task, it just makes all the difference, doesn't it? Like I say, pretty much the whole thing about this episode has been that the devil is in the details. We added the brake lights and the little brewing stand. RV looks ten times better. We added a little trap door in the middle of my base, and my base looks ten times better. But anyway, unfortunately, that is all I've got time for for today, folks. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button, and if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later. Bye.